Yo, campers and pen friend friends, yes, it is your lucky day. It is another tedious video announcement from yours truly. Oh yes, what could make this Friday even better? It is a bunch of m just monotonous droning from yours truly. Um, couple of items. If you're out there and you're thinking, man, the mint is a little on the slow side. What's up, guys? What are you doing? Are you going to... Are you going to cut the price? Are you going to cut the supply? Um, no. No, we're going to leave it open for a while. And we're going to roll out the features that we said we would. And, uh, you know, if it catches on, cool. We'll, and we'll uh, mint some more. If, uh, if we don't mint more, it's actually kind of a win for you guys. Because the prize money is secured. The 700 soul will still be awarded to a winner. No matter how many mint we mint from here. Zero or however many are left. Um, so your odds got better, um, and this wasn't a money-making thing for us. We were wanting to do something interesting and innovative, and um, we were just hoping to sort of break even or at least cover the the prize. And and we've gotten to that point. So um, we're not going to scale anything back. We're not going to do anything less than we said we would. We're not going to reward anything less than we said we would. Um, we're going to do. All of it still the same so um you know we would like to see more people minting that'd be cool um mostly because we want some more participation more feedback so that when we continue to develop the next iteration uh that uh we have more information to go on so uh anyways either way all good we forge ahead and the first step of that of course is customization customization is launching in a beta version which will not include names, uh, skin tones, and gender. For now, those things will not be um, swappable, but they will in a day or two, maybe three, probably a day or I don't know. It's not if it's not up to me. I'm I'm basically useless. So one of the people that knows how to do things, um, namely Jeff. Jeff will be implementing those those uh, options as well over the next couple of days. And in the meantime, uh, you can swap to your heart's content all of the other traits and uh, sort of look through uh, the possibilities on there, um, which is fun. If you don't know, uh, the process is you mint or purchase a static PFP, then you customize it. Customization is entirely free. Um, when you're happy with that, then you lock it in. Then it will um, be added to a render queue Oh, and uh, at the end of that, it'll be animated. Um, and then your NFT itself will be updated to its animated version. We had previously said that uh, you would customize it. It would be like a one-time deal. And we've changed our minds on that. Um, I think the idea of there being windows of opportunity to change it is cool. Um, and also it gives you some... A lot of flexibility really on the <clears throat> on the market you know like if let's say for example you're in the game with your camper and you get pretty far um, and your camper sadly is decapitated horrifically um, and you're pretty upset well you could pick up another camper um, off secondary sort of like a rebuy kind of in poker and um, if you wanted to, you could then potentially customize that camper um, to match your other camper, including the name and everything. So it would be almost be like your other camper is still alive. <laughs> um, so uh, also even beyond um, the end of camp, uh, just to have that flexibility, if people might cycle in and out of the project, if they want to come in, they want to put their own stamp on a camper, uh, they have that opportunity. So we think it's going to be a really powerful tool. We think you're going to like it a lot. And uh, we're excited about the release of that. Um, another part of that, and, and something that's sort of a bigger picture thing that we haven't talked a lot about, is the idea of your PFP telling an unfolding story. So you, the, the PFP really has a history to it um, based on what happened to it. And, and um, what we are striving to do is to um, animate outcomes. Uh, and when I say outcomes, I mean things that happen to that character in the course of the game. So for example, 
if your character um, hides at the in the girls' tenting area, um, built into your animation as you go or added to your animation as we go would be a short animation of your character hiding in the girls' tenting area. Um, now imagine your character in the girls' tenting area is targeted and attacked by Fud Rugger, but defends herself or himself um, with an item, say a shovel. Um, that animation, a, like a defend animation, would um, become part of your character's story. And let's say that the next day, Fudrugger unfortunately targets your camper again. Your, your camper this time does not have an item to defend himself or herself. And your camper is, is brutally murdered. Um, then the murder would become part of your camper story. Now, the murder is not the end of your camper story. And like we've said all along, Camp Solana is not the end of your camper story. The, the, the story will continue on into the next um, iteration. So anyways, you, you just you kind of get this sense of um, you have these beats right to the story of your camper and you're adding to them and you're building this narrative and you end up with this PFP that I mean, it, it might be a 30 second animation loop. We, we haven't seen anything like it in the space. Um, and um, we think it's we think it has huge upside and just in terms of like being interesting, if you compare uh, static, I mean, to us, obviously, we're very biased, but static to JPEG is a big leap or sorry, static to animated is a big leap. Um, but typically the animation loops are like three, four, maybe five seconds. And they don't really, they just, they're just simple, you know? And maybe that's cool. And there, there are options if that's what you want. But if you want one where it's like, you're just kind of mesmerized by watching all of these things. And it's, it's things that actually happen to, um, it's almost like uh, one of those, like <laughs> those, Facebook year in reviews thing, except um, it involves gore and uh, mayhem. So, um, uh, anyways, I, I, we think that that's going to be really cool. I hope you agree. We're going to do it regardless. If there's a lot of enthusiasm for that or not, we think it's worth doing so far in our pen friends journey. Kind of anything that we've worked on for our own project has ended up being something that we um, have done for other projects as well. So, uh, you know, hopefully you guys love it. And if you don't, there's probably other projects out there that, that want something similar. So our, our efforts are not wasted. Like we said, that this project was never about trying to make money or be a cash grab. So the, the mint situation is fine. I mean, we prefer to just insta sell out. That'd be great. But, um, uh, you know, that's part you, you launch a 10 K we don't do paid uh, we don't pay influencers you know we don't um there's no bots we don't we don't buy bots we don't buy likes we don't do paid giveaways we don't do paid shills none of that you know and the price to pay for that is um you don't have hype and the and the, uh but on the plus side you know we get to keep our souls so that's kind of nice um and we know that just like pen friends over time um, the wider community will see the value of what we're doing and you know they'll be like shit I blew that one should have minted that one that was, that was a mistake so anyways um, all good I hope you enjoy the customization tool we're gonna get some time with that like I said it's not gonna be a one and done anymore it might be something where it's open periodically for a windows of time um, but the idea of having pressure on you to like, you got to lock this guy in and he's going to be like that forever. No, don't worry about that. Um, because we may add, uh, we may add things over time and we'd like to have that flexibility if we wanted to add traits or logos or you name it. Um, and then open that customizer up again. And it's like, now you have more options than you did. Not that you don't have many options now. There's 400 something traits in there. Uh, to play around with so anyways like i said beta version there may be a bug or two we appreciate your help in uh identifying those and cleaning them up 
and um, well, you're not gonna clean them up. We're gonna clean them up, but you're gonna, I de- you know what I'm saying, and um, and yeah. Uh, so onward and upward. Um, the in our initial plan, we were gonna go pretty quickly, like customization items, and then roll right into the game. Um, not that we want to take a long time, but because the mint has been slow, we are just stretching things out a little bit. So we're gonna give customization. Uh, a few days to sort of um, make its way out into the world and uh, and hopefully get some uh, just positive reaction from the people that use it, which is you guys, and uh, and it hopefully inspire some more people to uh, come into the, the project and um, uh, you know increase the overall body count of uh, of Fuddrugger. Um, <clears throat> That's pretty much it. So, so yeah, like I say, it's not like it's miles away, but uh, we're just um, stretching that timeline out a little bit than compared to what we we were doing because we feel like each thing that we do um, has a chance of catching on a little bit, and so we'll leave the mint open for a bit and uh, and see what happens. Um, but like I said, you're covered either way. Jackpot is happening, game is happening, customization is happening. It's all happening, and uh, your odds are actually better. So you're probably pretty pumped if you're out there with a camper. And if you're out there dumping campers on Magic Eden for less than mint, I don't understand. I, I, I don't understand. Help me understand. When you just hold on and take a chance, so you're going to get the... I don't know. Um, if you are a flipper, I know it's kind of a dirty word sometimes, but... Some some people flip. There's nothing wrong with flipping. But if you are a flipper, you don't want to flip before the game starts. Okay? I mean, unless the floor price shoots up for whatever reason. But that's, it's probably not going to do that. If you want to flip, you want to wait till the game starts. Because once people start dying and are eliminated from the game, the ones that are still in it are more valuable. So that's when you're going to see a rise in, in, um, in value, a rise in price for campers especially once you get later in the game you know into that last sort of into the last quarter um you know you see some pretty uh pretty high prices for a 0.33 mint sort of like a couple of weeks post mint um could be nuts so if you are looking for uh to flip and not chasing the the big prize that's cool i should mention also there is a prize pool for dead campers so if you do die uh there are still some opportunities to uh to get some um some goodies and there'll be more about that soon um we always focus on the 700 of course because it's a lot of money uh 20 something thousand us pretty sweet pay for your wedding um pay off your student debt um i don't know probably lots of stuff you get like um butt implants probably for that i don't know pretty nice ones i I would guess for 20 grand whatever it is i hope that the winner lets us know so we can uh we can feel the you know that warm good feeling inside of having contributed to us uh some probably ridiculous expenditure (laughs) All right, anyways, I'm rambling as I do. Have a great weekend, everyone, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.